Hello! So, for this tutorial, papakita natin kung paano natin i-edit yung ating personal data sheet sa ating SIS account. So, firstly, is to log in on your SIS account. So, log in nyo lang yung, yung inyong credentials. And after that, mapunta tayo sa homepage. Sa homepage, may kita natin sa left side yung graduation clearance. So, click natin yun. Doon lalabas itong uh, personal data sheet na button, which is ito yung ating i-update. So, sa personal data, may kita natin dito yung data natin, which is editable naman if ever na may mga mali or need i-update. So, sa so NSPP, itong National Service Reserve Corps, um, since kinuha ko siya sa PUP and CWTS ang aking dinig, kinilagay kong info information dito. So, based dun sa uh, FB post nila, ang serial number, special order number, and mobilization center is NA. So, specialization naman is depends, it depends on your NSPP, whether it's ROTC or CWTS. Kung ano yung tinuro sa inyo, yun yung isa-checkan nyo dito sa gilid. So, the next one is the career development and placement. So, in this, you will add your work experience if you have any, any then it can be added to multiple work experience naman. So, the la lastly is the educational attainment. Dito sa educational attainment is, pwede mo siyang update if ever na may need kang update or may mga um, informations na kulang. Then, lastly is yung civil service, civic, professional, etc. Is NA. Ilalagay mo lang siya is NA dyan. Then, for the consent, it's yes. Then, save. After you save your personal data sheet, ito yung lalabas na alert box. Na your personal data sheet was updated. So, after you update that, it will generate na your general clearance. So, ito-download mo siya. Ito yung kanyang itsura. So, lalabas dyan na may deficiency ka sa NSPP and sa accounting. Which is itong red tab na nakikita nyo dito. Yun yun. So, next one is the alumni data sheet. So, itong itsura niya. Ito yung directory information natin. Then, next one is the NSPP data sheet. Dito sa NSTP datasheet, need natin ilagay yung e-signature dito sa taas ng ating pangalan para sa kopya natin. Then lastly is the COC or Certificate of Candidacy. So sa Certificate of Candidacy, ito yung itsura niya. Uh, makukuha niyo lang siya once na complete na yung grades niyo for the second term ng school year. So yun. Para ma-clear yung NSTP based in sa FB page, uh, may sasagot ako yung Google Form. Then, sa Google Form, may upload nyo tong general clearance na may NSTP deficiency, pati yung NSTP data sheet nyo na may e-signature. So, after 3 to 4 working days, saan na siya bago siya ma-clear dito sa um, sa clearance nyo. So, sa accounting naman na tag, Ang sabi, hayaan lang daw yun kasi clear naman daw siya ng accounting. So, yun lang po. Thank you.